Today we'll make this gorgeous little birdhouse planner. Keep watching. So we're going to start off with some thrifted items. This is a wooden box that already is perfect, won't need any work. Little birdhouse here. A dowel rod. I have territorial beige and white paints, a variety of paintbrushes, some little chipboard or wooden birds, and some foam. Plus we're going to need some florals, scissors, glue guns, and wire cutters, and whatever else we might add. So I'm going to start off by taking a look at this birdhouse, deciding what to do, and it's already weathered and aged looking on the top, so we're going to leave it just as is. I'm going to take this brown paint and I'm going to cover all of the pink with this paint. And I used two coats and I did go down a little bit on the inside of that little hole as well. Be sure you get the back because that will be seen also in the um, when you get your arrangement done. So now I'm going to color my little birds here. I'm going to use this acrylic paint. I'm just putting it on a little scrap of paper and kind of a little stiff brush here and I'm going to just kind of stipple and rub this paint into the wood. I want it to have a little bit of a whitewashed effect. I don't want it to be solid white. Plus if you get too heavy-handed with paint on these with the cutouts it'll be kind of gloppy and and uh, you'll see little drips inside and this is what it'll look like when you're done you're gonna do both of them then I'm going to prepare my picks just cutting off any little random edges that need to be cut and straightening my wires out I'm gonna trim down my greenery branch here and I do later add on more greenery and more florals. So you just get what you like. I wanted mine to have kind of a woodsy, wild look. So those are the flowers, the flowers that I chose. I'm gonna stack up a little bit of this leftover, um, some foam that I got, I think out of an Amazon box, so that I can get that block up a little bit higher. Just adding another glue stick putting a good bit of glue there on that block, put it in the bottom, and then I will add some glue to the top of this one. There's no real need to remove that plastic off. You can if you want to, but it won't be seen, so I just left it on. Okay, so it's almost flush with the top. I'm going to take a 12 inch dowel rod, and that's going to be in the center. I'm going to go ahead and press it down. This is what's actually going to hold the birdhouse later. But for now, it's going to give me an, uh, a reminder of where I need to put my florals and my greenery. I'm starting with just a couple of these little floral picks. Again, kind of a wild, wildflower look. And the arrangement won't be very symmetrical. It's going to be kind of crazy too, like if you saw it growing in nature. So. I'm calling it cottage style, but it could also be a bit of a, maybe a rustic look as well. I'm just going to each of the corners here. Some of my stems are a little bit flimsy. They're not really very sturdy. Okay, so I put one in the middle close to that rod, and then I'm going to add my boxwood in add that all around so that you don't see a lot of that bottom when you get done. You want to make sure that that doesn't show. You could use green foam and then that'll help camouflage that or you can add moss or anything like that to the bottom if you would like. So now I've chosen some of these little, they almost look like daisies and I'm just going to add those here and there around the arrangement. When you cut these off of your your picks or your stems, be sure that you cut them in a variety of heights so that you can have some tall, some short, and don't just 
you don't want to just stick them straight down in the top. You want to put them at angles. You want to fill in the empty spots. You want to have some bending downward, some, you know, maybe with a little twist in the stem. I wanted this to look like, you know, maybe I took a walk down the road and I saw this growing on the edge of a field. Growing against an old weathered fence post. So this is another bit of greenery that I have. It's almost like fern and I just had a few of these pieces. All of what you see in there came from the thrift store. So all of these florals are thrift store finds. And I don't think that I have found anything even similar at Dollar Tree. So for the value, I really, I think that uh, you just can't beat the thrift store florals. These are like a grass pick. I had three of those, so I'm just kind of adding those in in a triangular um, pattern, maybe. Spreading them out a little bit. So we're going to look at our arrangement from all angles and see if it's how we like it. Always turn it around, look for bald spots, look for empty spots. I know some people use uh, Lazy Susan underneath their arrangement so that they can turn it when they're arranging. Now I'm adding in some, this reminds me of rosemary. I have two big rosemary bushes that I've grown from little babies in my backyard. And that's exactly what these little picks look like. Okay, so with that part done, we're going to go back over here and we're going to weather down our dried birdhouse. So I'm going to take a little bit of white and just kind of dry brush that on there. I got a little bit heavy on the side. That's okay. It's just paint. You can always fix it. I'm going to put it on the little peg where the birds can stand. I'm going to get the sides and the back. As you can see, this arrangement will be made to be seen from all sides. Just going back over where I got a little too heavy with that white, with a little bit of that brown. I'm going to do the same thing on the back. Weather it down a little bit. And I think it looks good. So now we've got to find a way to connect this to this. And since it's on a point, we're going to have to drill it. So here is my DeWalt drill. I'm not sponsored. I just love this drill. And I'm going to drill a hole. Now, I got a little bit messy. I had to pull it toward me and I got out of the camera. And it went sort of off to an angle. But I did fix that. But I made kind of a mess when I did it. But I'm going to fix that. It's a craft and we can always cover up our boo-boos, right? Nothing a little glue gun and rope won't fix. So I'm just taking some of this. It's like a yarn and it's beige. I'm just going around that little hole where it is hot glued in. So I did put glue in the hole, put the stick in there, let it dry. And now I'm going over it with, um, going around it with this yarn. And it is nicely covered. And it doesn't stand out and you would think that this was intentional. See there? Looks fine. Now I've got to decide which bird goes where. And so this little bird that's already on a perch, I think would be good to put on the bird house. I'm going to cover up that hole. You won't even see that. And place him down. And his little friend is going to stand on the box below. A little bit of hot glue. And then I'm going to just use my fingers down there on the bottom edge of the box as a guide. And press him down. And here is our arrangement. Again, I'm going to be checking it from all sides. And you can see too how it looks. I like the grass making a little bit of a higher um, layer back there in the back behind the birdhouse. It looks like he's just nestled down in there and quite happy in his little home.
And if the wind doesn't blow this away, I plan on putting this on my screen porch where I can enjoy looking at it with maybe a morning cup of coffee, a little refuge from the mosquitoes and the gnats that like to come out in the deep south where I live. I'm from Southern Alabama. Where are you from? I'd like to get to know where my viewers are from. So could you put that in the comments for me? I appreciate it. Put your name and your location. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you found some inspiration in today's thrift flips. I'd love for you to subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.